Hello, and I'm so excited to bring you in to a virtual reality. Look, these are not my real arms. <laughs> I got my paintbrushes. I've got my easel. I've got a video of me playing. Um, this was a Bob Ross style acrylic painting that I did last week or a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, it's on my website, on my um, YouTube channel, sorry, Clive 5 Art. So if you're watching this on the other channel, my gaming channel, go to Clive 5 Art and you can see all my videos. If you're watching this on Clive 5 Art, where well, this is virtual reality. Yes, look at this lovely room that I've got here. And I've got an easel in front of me, which I can move about, adjust and do whatever I want to do to it. I got some brushes. I'll explain those as we go along. I've also got a palette, as you can see, with all my colors on there. We got titanium white, we got phyllo green, we got phyllo blue, we got Prussian blue, we got um, a midnight black, we got ro a, a burned umber, we got Van Dyke brown, we got, um, uh, th that is, I'm not sure what that word, what that one is. That's crimson. That's crimson. Yes, we've got phyllo, gr not phyllo green. I think that is. I'm not sure what green that is. It's like a hooker's green. We got yellow, yellow ochre, um, raw sienna, or is that? Is that yeah? I'm not sure what that is. That's an orange, and that's a bright red. It doesn't really matter anyway. So. Without further ado, I'm, you're going to be seeing things like settings and sensitivity, mixing and paint thickness. I'm going to be going through those very quickly. I don't want to confuse you if, if, if you've joined me on my Clive 5 Art channel. So I will be explaining how all these things work, how to put stuff on the canvas, how to make your canvas really small and back to the size that you want to paint on. All these adjustments, brushes, all this fantastic thing that we've got in virtual reality. And guess what? It doesn't matter if you get some paint and you make complete and utter mess. You can go magically. If I can remember how to do it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Dink! We can clear it immediately. So it doesn't matter if we make a mistake. This is a fun thing about virtual reality. Anyway, to cut the long story short, let's let's zip my video on to the sky. There we are. So I've got some blue in the sky, got some um, wonderful clouds going on in this particular painting. So let's get started, shall we? So you can see that I can make this canvas really small by just grabbing that little handle. There's also a light. Uh, on the top of you, I can turn up and down as I want as well. I've got a brush. I've got some titanium white on my little mixing um, tablet by there. I, this is paint thinners, by the way. Paint thinners. <laughs> this is so cool. So we'll get some white. Let's get, just, let's get some white. And we'll put some of that all over the canvas like this. This is our, this is our liquid white. I'm just going to cover the canvas completely. The reason I made it small is because it's a lot quicker to actually cover it there like that. Now, I'm not an expert when it comes to painting in a VR. Like many of you, this may be your first time in doing it. And I've only played with this for a couple of hours or so. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we can we can get this looking very similar to the painting I've created there. So back into our two inch brush. There we go. I'll show you all these controls, how to how to adjust your brush uh, and all that type of stuff. So don't go worrying too much about that. We're just going to go into a little bit of phyllo blue. And like I did in that lesson there, I'm going to start in the corner and I'm going to bring that all the way across there like that. And that is going to slowly mix in with the blue and the white with the blue is going to mix into that white there now this is called blending if we go into our settings very quickly you could see the canvas mixing sensitivity <coughs> excuse me canvas mixing sensitivity that means how much this color will mix with the color underneath there we go you can see it's mixing really really well in fact there we are we're bringing that down 
about there, I think it was. Let's just turn that down just a touch. You can adjust how thick your paint is as well. And um, let's just get that nice there. There we go. I'm just going to get a little bit more blue. Just into the tops of these corners. Just make a little vignette like I did there. I've just cleaned my brush very quickly. Um, there's a button you can press to clean the brush. Let me show you. So you see the brush. There we are. It's gone. It's as quick as that. Or you can get some paint on the brush and you can wipe it on a rag like that. That's cleaning the brush as well. So, yeah, I, as I said, I'll explain all this as we go along. Now, what I'm going to do is very, very lightly. Well, I can't actually feel any any pressure on the brush. So this is this is all about feeling. the brush in a different way to what you would do in real life. If this was a real brush, I could feel the pressure on the bristles. You can't feel that so much in virtual reality. But nevertheless, we can do it. We can do it. We can do anything we want. There we are. So we've got a nice sky. Nice sky. Also, there's a blending brush. This is a blending brush. You can adjust the size of it, thick and small thick and small by just adjusting one of the buttons and what we can do there is we smooth all that down just like that like this to get the sky in place like that wow look at that that is wonderful so i'm using a small worm i think that's a half inch short flat to get these clouds in now i can either use a fan brush for this i think i will um there we go, I can use a fan brush for this. So to swap the brush, let's just get that menu back up. To swap the brush, there we are. We could swap it from a bristle to a smooth and we can change how big and small it is as quickly as that if we wanted to. So what have I got that on? Smooth. I got it on a bristle brush now. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of white. There we go. Or you can hold the palette in your hand if you wanted to. Get a little bit of white, a little bit of blue, and a little bit of. I'm just going to get a smallest amount of, a smallest amount of Prussian blue in that. There we are. I'm just going to put that down because it's easier for me to paint. And let's get, where am I? Let's get these clouds in place. It's not going to be the same as that I've done there, but it's going to be similar. We can make that a little bit tiny. Make it a little bit smaller. There we go. A little bit tiny. Is that a word? A little bit tiny. <laughs> we do have fun. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping to have as much fun painted in virtual reality as I paint in real life. So... The reason I've decided to do this, because as I mentioned in another video, one of my friends um, is bedridden and she's unable to get out and paint and stuff like that and do what she wants to do. But she's recently just bought a virtual reality headset. This is the Quest 2, by the way. This is what they call the Quest 2. And not only can you paint things like this, or you can play video games if that's your thing. I love video games. I love video games. I really do. You can visit places around the world as well especially with with like the google earth and that type of stuff you can go and see these wonderful places virtual in virtual reality and guess what you know you're not even leaving your bedroom or your living room or anything like that you can just see i just miraculously cleared my palette then there we go so i'm just going to get a bit of white a little bit of white and i'm just going to put some I need to turn down I need to turn down my mixing sensitivity. There we go. There we are. So all I'm doing now is playing around with the setting to stop this paint that I'm putting on mixing with the paint underneath. There we go. Because we don't want it to mix with the paint underneath. We want to put these highlights on the clouds just like this. And we'll come along in a moment. And then we'll blend them in, blend them into the clouds. We 
them all nice and fluffy and smooth and yeah make it like a picture postcard there we go so we get our brush I'm going to turn that into a bristle brush there we go I'm just gonna need to turn that setting down again you can see how this will work as I do this but as I said I will explain all this don't get confused it's not complicated this is very 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 easy it's very very easy to do once you know how it works we can get this to look really realistic there we are gently 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 just like you're painting in real life there we go like I said this is virtual reality so it's really fun this is the future this is used in industry for designing things and as I said it gives access to people to travel around the world if you wanted to see something like the um, like the Rocky Mountains or something like that and you haven't you have, and you're not able to travel because it's just a little blending brush then this gives you the opportunity to see things around the world like you wouldn't normally be able to you're not going to spend too much time today with these clouds but I'm just going to try and fluff them up a little bit now fluff them up just to make them look a little bit more realistic very very gently just breathing on them just to get those clouds to look like clouds how is that isn't that beautiful to think this is computer it's not real it's not real paint to think this is it's amazing it it really does excite me a lot I'm gonna get a, a little short flat bristle getting a little bit more white paint let's turn that sensitivity down again we like that Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly as they say in London. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Bit of wisp. Bit of wispiness. It's on them clouds. Anyway, let's not let's not waste any more time on them clouds. Look, they look fantastic. I'm happy with them. As long as you are, then I'm happy as well. Okay, let's get the, put that brush down. Okay, so let's see where we are now. Let's see where we are. There we are. Let's get that. Let's open that up. Can I get it to open up? Oops. <laughs> there we go. Oops. Adverts. Now, you might not be able to hear this. You might not be able to hear this um, because of copyright and things like that. So I'm just going to let those ads play for a minute. Um, and then we'll... I think we have to do some mountains. So we've got a palette knife there like this. We're going to get our, our canvas this time. Our palette, sorry. I'm going to get some black. Like that. I'm going to get some Prussian blue. And if you push it into the Prussian blue, you can see the Prussian blue onto the palette knife like that. I'm going to get a little bit of this burnt umber as well in there. It'll make a lovely colour. A lovely dark colour. That's a lovely dark colour. It's on my palette knife. Let's skip the ads. And... Let's take it back down. Where am I? Actually, I put a little bit of... I put a little bit of...
green in the sky, in a, a yellow in the sky there. I wanted to give it a bit of warmth. Let's put our paladine uh, knife down a little bit there now. And let's get the oval brush. There we are. We, we've got a dark brush. There we go. Now, this is going to mix with the blue. So I've got to be careful with this because this is replicating oil paints. I'm going to see if I can actually put a little bit of I'm going to see if I can actually put a little bit of yellow into this guy without it mixing. If it goes green, I can I can alter it. Okay, so I'm going to just going to delete that a little bit, just like that. Oh, magic! Magic happens. I'm going to get a little bit of paint thinner. Now that's too thick for me, so I can adjust the paint thickness down like that. Now, hopefully, there we go. Let's get a little bit of red, just a little bit of red like that. I need to adjust the sensitivity, just a touch, just like that, to see if it'll blend in. A little bit more yellow on my brush. I'm just going to play. Now, as I said, I'm not an expert at this, so you are learning with me. I do know how some of these things work, but not them all, not all of them. So I'm just trying to replicate this as much as I possibly can. The good thing is, I can swap the brush. Just blending that in. Okay, put this colour off there. I'm trying to get it up to there. So you can take the colour off. See, you can take the colour off the canvas and put it onto your palette. There we are. Look at that. Oh, well, you couldn't do that really in real life, could you? Just blend in just a touch. little blending brush blend that into the sky oops there we go I quite like that I do I quite like that okay so where are we now let's have a little look So now we've got the mountains in place. This is where the palette knife comes in. And let's see if I can't do and try and replicate what I've drawn on there. So we've got a bit of a peak there like that. That's coming down, another bit of a peak there. And that's going all the way along. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Like that. And that's coming down. There, like that. And we go 
got another little mountain, and that's going all the way over there, just like that. Blending that in, let's get our brush, the blending brush. Blend that in, just like that. That's looking pretty good, actually. That's looking, this one's looking better than that one. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's sip this on a bit more. Now we put in now I'm putting snow on the mountain, so that's going to be a bit of fun, isn't it? So that, that's going to involve me now um, adjusting this down like that, putting that all the way up there, and going back to my, my painting now, get my palette knife again, making sure my palette knife is clean so I can clean it either by doing that, washing it in the liquid or pressing the magic button on my controller. Um, I don't want to clean my palette, so I'm just going to get some snow, just like this. And I want to put a little bit of blue. I'm going to put a little bit of this blue into that, like that. So it's more of a, 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 an off-white. There we go. And more of an off-white. So now I'm adjusted my palette knife in my hand. Because I need to get a little roll of paint there like that. So I'll show you it's that side I want. There we are. A little roll of paint. A little roll of paint just on my palette knife. Now hopefully, if I practice just enough, I should be able to pull this down. And get that broken paint like that. So what we got there now, we got this, this mountain coming in. There, like that. And we got a little bit of snow coming in there. This is just a shadow colour that I'm putting on, on the snow. about that bit there oh look at that that is lovely look at that look how that paint is on there now what I want to do is just make a dark color this is going to be my shadow color and what I want to do is just put this shadow color just in On the side of the mountain just like that whoa look at that let's just put a little bit of shadow this oops let's just go back just a little bit here and there just like that Maybe it's a few little tiny divots and things. Who knows? Who knows? In your world, it could be anything you want. Okay, so let's get our palette knife. A little roll of paint. This is virtually pure white paint now. And hopefully, if I do this right, we get a bit of snow. Now, if you want to watch my real painting lessons, not virtual reality painting lessons, if you want to watch my real painting lessons, then pop along to Clive Hive Art uh, at YouTube. So, hashtag Clive Hive Art, and that's going to be my 
that's going to be my channel. Um, so I got a, I got a little bit of white just on the, the edge like this, maybe. Uh, something I can't do in real life is go back like that. There we go. So we've got a wonderful, wonderful um, mountain already. That's, that's looking really nice. So we wait for those adverts to play through. So it looks as if I'm going to have to put some mist down on this. Let's see if we can mist this off. Always mist on the bottom of mountains. Always mist on the bottom of mountains. Can I skip that advert? Yes, I can now. There we go. So you can see me painting the mist. I said, there's the daddy and there's the mummy on that one. <laughs> I did. Dear, dear, dear. There we go. Let's get a little bit of mist. Get a little bit of mist. Don't worry, you can't make mistakes. You can't make many mistakes, really in painting but i tell you what this is so much easier once you get used to it because it's so easy to, to go back on a mistake if you want to anyway we've got a lovely range of mountains there look at that range of mountains looks really really nice now i think i'm gonna get a brush um let's get this half inch short flat let's make it big like that and I got a smooth, smooth short flat. There we go. Well, my arm, my arm just went up in the sky. <laughs> right, let's have a look. There you go. You can see now I put another range of mountains in front. Let's just get this nice dark color on my brush. So we've got a bit of a a mountain shape coming in just like this see and that down there let's get a little bit more black into that lovely get another mountain Possibly. Come in, in there as well. Yeah. Wow. This one is coming. Get that one to come down there like that, I think. It doesn't have to be 100% the same, as long as it's nearly there in my arm. <laughs> there you go. What some fun, some fun this virtual reality painting is. We got another one, another mountain coming up. I'm coming down into there like that. There we go. Just getting all that down. 
fixing it in. Now, if I remember rightly, I put a rows of trees and stuff in there. I did have a bit, a bit of snow on the mountain and things like that. So can I make this a bit smaller? There we go. I haven't adjusted my settings on my... get this right in a minute right let's get some trees can I make that oops can I make that a bit smaller yeah there we go whoa Little tiny trees. Just on the on the tops of the mountains like that. Just barely see them. Oh, what fun. Whoops, bit of a mistake. Oh, too much. See? Isn't it marvelous what you can do? My arm keeps flying around. Look at that in real life. Can you imagine if I went like this in real life and my arm's just flying about? So. We got a bit of green now. We have got a bit of green going in. So let's have a look at my settings. So I want to take the sensitivity up a touch. Um, let's get some nice green. Let's mix our green into that. Maybe, maybe a little bit more blue into it. The further the way things are, the, the bluer they tend to be. There we go, let's try this. Now we need that. Definitely greener than that, don't we? Just a tinge of that greeny colour. Maybe. Is that too bright? Is this too bright? No, maybe it's not. If I mix some of that green with the background colour, maybe that's okay. Get a little bit of yellow into it. Just a hint, just a hint of green. Let's just turn, let's let's change my brush. Let's change my brush to a. Let's just change my brush to a short flat. This is a smooth short flat. Ah no, see that might be a little bit different. Maybe that's what we need. Okay, so let's just delete that. So it's the it's the brush it is. It's the brush. There we go. Oh, 
Yeah, now it's now it's now it's looking nicer. So it's like when you're painting in real life, it's very important to just keep at it and and, and persevere with it because I've only painted I don't know two paintings in virtual reality before I actually decided to come and show this to you. So this is an experience for me. So I think it's wonderful. This is what I do in my other lessons. Um, if you if you haven't followed me, um, go to Clive Five Art, hashtag Clive Five Art, and follow me in real paintings. If you want to do it, acrylics and things like that, then that's the place to be. That's the place to be. So, and um, what I try to teach in in there is what I'm trying to teach you is that we, if we can learn, we can paint together, and we can learn, then that's the quickest way to pick up any skill is by doing and by doing with others in fact because it allows us to experience things especially in virtual reality it allows us to experience things and learn by our mistakes and that's what it's all about that's what it's all about people get really upset sometimes when things don't go right but that's that's okay that's okay because we have to make mistakes in order to we have to make mistakes sometimes in order to get better. That's why we that's why we walk. Because if we didn't fall down when we were children, how long did it take us to, to learn to be able to, to take care of our balance and walk? That's what you've got to think of. Okay, so we've done that now. Um, my arm's off again. <laughs> Let's get the blending brush. Making sure it's clean. And I'm just going to blend that in now. Blending that in like that. And then stand back. And admire your work so far. Look, that is, that is, I think this is better than that, actually. That is amazing to actually accomplish that in virtual reality. This is not real. This is not real. Look, my arms go through the canvas. So this really is not real, you know? So... Yeah, it's amazing. Look, we that we could do this. Now, I could save this. I can save this and come back to it tomorrow. In fact, just to show you, I'm going to do that. I'm going to end the program now, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to finish this off tomorrow. And guess what? That paint will never, ever, ever, ever dry. The only time that paint will dry is if you go here and you start a new layer. And a layer is a fantastic thing because you could do this... And that is that layer there. That is that layer. Look at that. And we can, oh, this is a new one. This is a new one on me. They brought in a new layer system. That is amazing. Can you delete this now? Can you delete that? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to play around with that now. And um, there we go. Gone. So... I'll see you in the next bit. So now all I want to do, basically, because we got we got a wonderful scene. We got these lovely little tiny trees. We got that mountain in the background, a little bit of mist there. And um, all I want to do now is bring a little bit of snow onto these. I want to bring a little bit of snow, very gently, like as if there's a little bit of snowfall. Just like that. Maybe the, it's just breaking a touch, just breaking that. It's just breaking. There we go. Maybe it's just, just a little bit of snow just glinting on there. Just put a little bit of highlight just here and there, just like that. Yeah, just an essence, like we've done on the painting, as you can see. Let's have a 
the zip through. So I'm doing exactly the same there as I've just done on the easel. Okay, so let's zip this along. And now, what I've done is I've put a black, dirty, greeny colour right in front of that and I put some trees in place so that is the next thing we can do now the magic thing about this is we could use layers so let's pretend now we've put this a set that aside we've set that aside and it's dried so if we move to layer two and let's just grab let's just grab this brush a second let's just make that a little bit bigger there we go and let's just pick up this black color and I'll show you you can paint a layer so it's not damaging the layer underneath so that's good so it's like this is dried now so what we need to do now by using this method is a looking at what we've actually done there so I think what I'm gonna do is just clean that brush put that there pick up um, now I'm gonna pick up this filbert brush there we are, make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Pick up this filbert brush. I'm going to get a little bit of black. I'm going to add a little bit of blue to that black. So I like a midnight black. Add a small touch of green in there as well. And as I'm doing that, I'm pressing button... What number is it? Button A on my controller. But I'm going to be going through all this. I'll be going through all this in another lesson. Just to. So what I'm going to try and do now is just get this pattern. Like there's loads of little trees and bushes and and stuff, and I'm going to block that in. Looking at my uh, settings, um, yeah, that's fine. Let's just take that up a touch and go back to that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap my brush to a short flat by just moving my my little thumbstick controller on my right hand. But I said I'm not gonna go too much into detail. Let's just grab this. Same. Um, I want to be careful I don't destroy those. I like those there. I'm just going to just pull in a few. Trees. I'll show you a quick way of blocking all this in now without taking too much time. We want to put a big tree in here, don't we? that a bit smaller there we go <laughs> we got one tree in there. We can put some more trees in there in a second. I'm just going to put another tree just there like that. That's going to come down. And we got a few bits and pieces and bushes and things like that. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Shh. 
There's a little tree, and we've got another tree then, a little bit bigger. Coming in like that. Or maybe just a little baby tree. Just like that. There we go. Now what we can do, we'll put our brush down. We can make this canvas a wee smaller. We'll get our two inch brush. And now we'll just block this in, just like that. That's a way of cheating, but it's not cheating, is it? Because we have virtual reality. We're painting in virtual reality. There you go. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Increasing the size of the canvas back to normal. Um, putting a brush down. Let's see where we stand now. So what I'm doing there is I'm just putting some green in. I've made a little path there. So let's just pause that a second. So we want to put some green into this now. Um, green. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna turn that into a little filberty brush. We want some green. Let's get some green. Oops. There we go. Let's just pause that because it's talking and you can't hear it, but I can hear it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of green into this dark color. Just like that. What we're gonna do now is put in some green. Very, very subtle. Very, very subtle. Green. Continue to do that. Just add in little touches of green. Changing the brush. Oops. <laughs> Changing my brush. Let's turn down mix and sensitivity, put the paint thickness up. There we are. Well, I'm just going to continue to do this.
bit of colour. Don't forget these are evergreen trees, so they're going to be dark. But if we could have a little bit of light. A little bit of light on them. There you go. Let's put in a bit of texture. Let's have a look what I've done. So I'm continuing to build on this grass. So that's what I'm going to do. Just getting that colour of grass. Just like this. Mixing that all together. I'm going to get the blending brush on that in a second. And what I want to do now is get this path to come in like this. Continue to put this grass in. Don't like that. Okay. I'm just going to take that back a bit. There we go. You can see it moving, disappearing. Because all I'm doing is deleting them a little bit. There we are. through different this is the dark color we get a bit of that lighter color It's not like painting in real life, but it's as good as, especially when, if you're disabled or you haven't got a lot of room, or like me, you suffer with dermatitis and stuff like that, and it's just a bit of fun. Even the grandchildren can do this. I'm just getting the blending brush now, and all I'm doing is just blending this together, just like that. Wow, look at that. Brilliant. Let's get a palette knife. I'm going to get a, a little bit of this burned amber. A little bit of that black in there. A bit more burned amber. A little bit of blue. So I find the colour I'm looking for. And all I'm going to do now is put this path in. A little 
little bit of highlight so we'll need a little bit of a little bit of this greeny color just to give that a little bit of a highlight Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? So let's zip on to the next bit. Oops, let's watch the ads. <laughs> but before I do that, I'm going to change my layer. So I'm going to go into that layer now. There we go. I'm going to go into that layer. So we've got some, we've got the path in place now. I've got some nice, lovely looking tree patterns there. So let's get, um, let's see if we can make a lovely couple of bushes and things like this. Let's make this a little bit bigger. There we are. Let's make that a little bit bigger. There you go. Okay. So I got some light the greens. Bit of highlight. Strip over to that brush. And just play around all these different types of greens. a two inch brush let's try a two inch brush let's see what effects we get with a two inch brush because as i said earlier this is all new for me as well trying to get the effects that i want and, and the more we pray and more we play the more we we practice the funner or i would say not the funner <laughs> the more fun it will be That's a better, that's a better effect. Very light touch. Looks at long grass then. Yes, it does, it looks better. See, so we can go back. Let's see if we can go back. Doodle, 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 doodle.
I think what I need to do is practice a little bit more with I need a little bit of dark in there actually I think let's have a look at the let's have a look at this um, brush this fan brush see what effects that gives us Oh, that's a much better grass effect. So what I'm learning with this is we have to think we have to think there's certain brushes and stuff that we would use normally don't work in virtual reality. You push up, you can push up as well, look. I'm quite enjoying this so far. It's looking pretty good. Um, Let's get a little bit of dark. Maybe just a little bit of dark in these trees and stuff. We need a little bit of shadow, don't we? Need a little bit of shadow here and there. think using the edge of the brush is good too yeah I quite I'm do you know for for a first attempt of 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 this is pretty good. I'm quite impressed with the ability to paint like this and painting a, a traditional um, type of Bob Ross, if you would, um, scene is not easy in in oils. It's not def it's definitely not easy in, in acrylics. Um, but if we are doing this now. we're doing this in virtual reality then even more so it gets a little bit more difficult let's get a little bit of light on these rocks just like that maybe maybe just a little bit lighter So we got some rocks there. We got some things. We can. I tell you what we could do. Let's see if we can do this one. And what I normally do is get some paint on my palette knife, and I put a few. Can you draw a line? Can't do that very well with that. Let's let's see if we can get this. Put a few branches and things in. Maybe a little bit lighter. A few twigs. That's an old tree, maybe. There you go. Wow. We could get some grass, couldn't we? Oops.
So let's go back to our layers. And I should be able to merge these layers together now. So if I put that one up there and that one up there, can I merge those? No, I can't. Oh, it's a shame. Okay. So there's, there's the layer we're actually building on at the moment. There we are. That's the layer we're actually working on. That's this layer. Yeah, okay, so let's grab this brush again. And what have we got? We've got, is that a bristle brush? That's the smooth, that's the, that's the smooth, that's the bristle. Let's go to the smooth brush then. And a bit of highlights here and there. Let's go back to our original. There we are. <laughs> I quite like that. Is looking really, really good. I quite like that. Um, what I could do, I think, is just bring a little bit more light into this path no I don't like that do, 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 do. can we let's, let's delete let's delete let's delete let's delete let's look at our uh, layers that's the layer I want to work on that's what it is. Okay. I was working on the wrong layer. Ah, see now. Let's go to a, let's put a few little back to layers. Once you, you can merge that one with that one then. Can you merge that one with that one? You can. There you go. That's great. You can merge that one. Now those two layers were merged now. What if I put that up there and that up there? Can I merge that? I can't merge that with that. That up there. And that up there. And I still can't merge that. Oh, there's a shame. Still, we've got all that together now. All that is in one painting now. It's a shame we couldn't put that one onto that one. But maybe we could do that on a... on a on Because I started this painting before an update. There we are. We've got a couple of rocks we can put in now. We get our little brush. I'm just bedding some grass. Just like that. Well, I don't know. We could do something there, I suppose. Did I do anything there? I've just put a couple of bushes in and things there. Um, I really do need now to start thinking about bushes and 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 that and 
working out the best approach to using this. So what I think I'll do is I'm going to go into a layer. I'm going to go into a new layer. I'm going to put a bit of black on my brush because I want to... Make that big bigger. So this is all about me learning with yourselves. Painting on a new layer there. I want to get this lovely type of bushy looking tree. Type of shape. That is nice. That is nice. Let's get this. like twigs maybe or something that's like that Go back into that brush actually i'm going to use this one this was the that was the smooth so let's try the bristle There's too much like the same colour. I tell you what we could do. I tell you what we could do. We could make um look at this lovely yellow ochre. Yeah, I don't like that. Um let's try this. I make that a bit brighter. Um, I've lost my yellow now because I've dirtied it. Let's get a little bit of this into that. Now, I should be able to merge that to that. Oh, that's a shame. So I've just lost what I painted. That's a good way of deleting something, though. Let's paint on this layer. Can I paint on that layer? Will it still show through? No, that's painting underneath. That's painting underneath. Well, I need to experiment with this a bit. Anyway, um, I need to experiment with this. To, to work out these layers, it's just quite confusing at the moment. So let's just put some... Do, 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 do. 
That looks a bit messy, that side. I don't quite like that. Anyway, I think what I'm going to have to do is experiment more with bushes and things. But we've got the basic bones of this in place. So I think what I need to do is work a little bit more. Work a little bit more on these bushes. If we can get these bushes and work out these brushes, we should have the ability to paint some wonderful paintings in virtual reality. And it's like everything else. We need to learn these things. We really do. Let me just clear my palette a minute. There we go. I got too much green. What what it is? I've got too much of the same color, so that color is the same as that. That should be slightly darker to, to get the um, to get that effect that I'm looking at. But if we fail, all we need to do is grab our palette knife and just put another big old mighty rock there, like this. If all fails, put in a rock. <laughs> if all fails, put in a rock. There we go. Get out a little blending brush. Right, put some grass. Down like that. There we go. That'll do. I'm happy with that. It could be a lot, lot better, I think. It could be a lot better. But I think for a virtual reality painting, and it's the first time I've actually used this program as such, um, I think we've done a wonderful job there. I think that is a good start. So the next one, we'll paint something a little bit simpler, I think. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you in the studio next time. Um, if you want to join me on my channel, then please pop along to Clive 5 Art, and there you will see all these wonderful paintings. So I think I've done a wonderful, a wonderful uh, attempt at my first ever VR painting. If you want to join me for real paintings in acrylic and oils, then join me at uh, hashtag Clive5Art at YouTube. And there you will see me painting in acrylics and oils and painting wonderful paintings such as that. Actually, that's nice painting. I think I might actually try that one year well, next. Maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I, I'm not too sure. I <laughs> Maybe try this. I got to work on these. I really got to work on these bushes. That's the main thing. And then we've cracked it. But thank you very much for joining me here today, painting mountains, rocks, and a little bit of grass. Bye.